Hey everybody, it's Anthony with Policy Buff, and I forgot why I'm here. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Hey everyone, it's Anthony with Policy Buff, and I'm back with another How I Got the Shot video. In our last episode, we encouraged you guys to think outside the softbox by showcasing some hard light versus soft light looks. In this episode, we're gonna change things up a little bit and backpedal by spotlighting the softbox and show you guys some different ways to use it to create some really different looks. But before we get started, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell to be notified for when we post some sweet new content. All right, let's get started. quick rundown on what a softbox is. A softbox diffuses the light onto the subject, creating soft, even light and reducing harsh shadows. And the closer the softbox is to your subject, the softer the light will appear. For this shoot, I used a single Link 800 flash unit and our 32 by 40 inch foldable softbox. For my first setup, I placed my softbox camera right, angled at approximately 45 degrees onto my subject Heyman. Then I raised it up and tilted it down slightly. This is a very standard setup for a softbox. It almost always provides a nice light onto your subject with just enough shadow depth. This is why it's a go-to setup for many portrait photographers. Take a look at some of the final images from this setup. My second setup consisted of my softbox being placed a few feet in front of my model and boomed overhead. I angled the light down slightly so I'd get more coverage on Heyman's upper body while he was seated on the stool and so that things wouldn't fall completely to black. For the second look, I had him seated in a chair with the same overhead lighting setup being used. I also added in our 501 reflector to lift and bring in a little bit more detail back into those shadows. Another thing to note, when adding in a reflector or another softbox in this position, this would be considered clamshell lighting. Take a look at some images from this setup. In my final setup, I moved the softbox camera right and angled it 90 degrees onto Heyman, directly lighting him from the side. You'll notice with side lighting that it creates a very dramatic shadow off to the opposite side. This could be a really cool look on its own. However, with Heyman having darker hair and some darker features and even wearing black in one of the looks, I decided to bring in a V-flat to bring back in some of that detail in the shadows. Take a look at some of the images from this final setup. I really love the versatility of a foldable softbox. It provides a beautiful, soft, and even spread of light. And playing with the proximity and angle of the softbox in relation to your model can create some really interesting looks. I hope you found this video helpful. Go ahead and give us a follow over on Instagram at PolicyBuffInc and use the hashtag PolicyBuff for a chance to be featured on our page. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.